Okay, so we have a lot of news to go through regarding the new Greenville update, and I have some rock solid evidence that this update is coming very, very soon. Before we do get into it though, make sure to leave a like and subscribe because we are on the road to 15.2k subscribers. But without further ado, let's get straight into it. Okay, so a lot of you guys may be wondering, how do I know that the update is coming soon? Because obviously it is a pretty classic Greenville YouTuber move to say that the update is coming soon. However, today I have a lot of proof backing up my statement here. So first of all, as you guys probably know, a lot of YouTubers recently have been making unreleased car reviews. Now, as somebody who has already done one of these, developers do not let us do these car reviews if the update is still a long way away from releasing. So that's already pretty big evidence right there to prove that the update is getting ready to launch sometime soon. As almost every single time a YouTuber has made an unreleased car review, the update has always released at least two weeks after that video, and it never usually takes longer to release than that. Additionally, another thing to point out is that Greenville actually has an official testing server, and essentially this is where developers go when they need to test updates before they're being launched, and is also used by those who have the testing role in the Greenville server who were accepted into the testing program. Now, an interesting thing to point out is that those who are in the testing program actually only get access to the testing game when the update is in a stage of development that is actually good enough for it to be playable, which is typically shortly before the update is actually ready to release. And the reason why I point this out is because that earlier today, a lot of testers were actually seen in the server supposedly testing out the new update. I'll, um, let's see if there's anyone in testing server right now. Let me grab up the link for testing server. Let's have a little look and see how many people are on it right now. 10 people in testing server. Okay, this is very good news. So we got 10 people on testing server, which means that it's probably currently opened up. Yeah, it is. So testing server is open right now. Obviously not to everybody. It's only open if you have a tester role in the GB server. I don't think I could join it either, to be honest. All right, all right. So yeah, it looks like uh, testing is open right now for those who have the tester role. Which is a great sign. That means that the update will be soon, hopefully. Let's see what devs are on right now. Okay, we have Barkus is in the Roblox Studio. Um, Hunter is actually offline, but I guess he's usually offline, to be honest, when updates release. Uh, who else? Sky is online. There's probably other people online too. And as I just discussed, developers wouldn't open up the place if the update wasn't ready, which means that the only thing that they would be testing is the Greenville update and essentially checking for any last minute bugs. And that makes even more sense because Greenville developers don't actually need testers until they have updates ready to go. Because essentially what the testers job is, is to check for any bugs that the developers may have not caught themselves. And there's no point of them opening it up to check bugs when the update isn't anywhere near ready. Now moving on to some leaks here, as you guys can see, we have the brand new fictional golf, which should be coming next update. It actually doesn't look too bad in my opinion opinion and you can still definitely tell that it is based off the real life golf the only main difference in my opinion is the headlights but it honestly doesn't look too bad whatsoever then we have the rear end of another fictional volkswagen which as you guys can see keeps that traditional body shape while having different lighting also it looks like we're going to be getting a fictional version of the f-150 dot vehicle so it essentially looks the same as the one that we have right now i'm pretty sure only difference is that of course now it is fictional but once again not bad whatsoever and then what we have here is i'm pretty sure the tail lights from the fictional tiguan that is coming to the game which as you guys probably know has already been posted in future updates and actually looks like this so overall does look pretty similar to the real life one however as you guys can see the headlights and tail lights are pretty significantly different also one of the trims has a roof box which is actually really nice to see again and then one posted by uzi and member hangout actually seems to be a fictional cadillac i'm not too sure what this is meant to be based off however it doesn't actually look bad whatsoever and that actually looks pretty detailed especially considering that it is fictional so do keep in mind this did have to be completely free-handed i'm not 100 sure if this one will be coming in the next update but it'd be nice to see it though then from ivy here it looks like we have a fictional subaru forester or Outback. Actually looks super nice in my opinion as a Subaru fan myself. It's still definitely recognizable as a Subaru, however it is also very fictional at the same time. But personally, I actually like this just as much as the real life variant to be honest. And I'll definitely be buying this thing when it comes out. Also, it was recently announced from Doggon and Member Hangout in the Greenville server that any car coming in future updates is not coming in their current state, which could mean that the cars will be changed a bit before they are actually released. And then he also went on to say that if a car that was off sale gets fictionalized, it will go back on sale as a fictional car and will get replaced placed in your inventory. So for example, let's say you ended up owning the BMW M3 GTS before it was taken off sale, or just any BMW in general, or really any car that was taken off sale, and you're wondering if you'll be able to keep it once the fictional model is made. Well, unfortunately, you actually won't be able to, as instead, once the fictional model is created and it is released, it'll actually go on sale in the dealership, and the real version of the car that you have in your inventory will be replaced with the fictional version. Personally, I don't know how I feel about this 100%. In my opinion, instead of them just replacing it with the fictional vehicle, since some people might not 
not want the fictional variant of the car depending on how it looks they should instead actually refund the real version of the car and then give you the option of actually replacing it yourself but i mean tell me what you guys think about that in the comments below additionally he said specifications such as horsepower weight and others will be the same on the fictional cars as the real life counterparts but they are able to give the more power to the fictionalized ones which is actually pretty cool so hopefully we'll start seeing some more crazy fast cars in this game and then it also says that dogon is currently focusing on gm mainly as it was the biggest brand in green ball and the biggest to get hit as for those of you guys who don't know gm owns like a ton of car brands such as chevrolet buick cadillac gmc holden pontiac Vauxhall, and even more than that however none of this is actually 100 guaranteed to happen although he did say it but do just take it with a grain of salt regardless the new leak that was also just posted is the suspension for what i believe the f-150 will be or at least the fictional f-150 so this is going to be what the suspension looks like for one of the trims here as you guys can see it is extremely detailed additionally another new leak is actually the drag strip so as you guys probably know right now currently we do have an airport which did replace the original drag strip that we had in gv3 unfortunately and for the longest time it has been such a hassle doing drag races in this game as nine times out of ten the person who you'd be racing is desync or they start too early or too late or just rarely any of those issues however recently it was actually leaked in gvcn that we are getting a brand new drag strip now something cool to point out here is that the new drag strip is actually going to remain at the airport however now it is actually going to have things like scoreboards also you guys can see lights there which will probably count you down i'm not sure if it'll actually limit you from driving until the lights turn green but in my opinion that would be a really really good feature as that way people wouldn't get desync all the time also at the back there there is a faint bit of green which will likely be the finishing point and will probably be where your final score is taken and as you guys can probably notice here it is actually on the left side of the runway which will mean we'll still have the entire right side of the runway to do whatever we want with also we have some in-game pictures of the new fictional subaru that's coming to the game the lights on this thing actually look amazing in my opinion and i'm low-key confused why this hasn't been posted in future updates yet because it does mostly look finished however there is a chance that this may not actually be coming in the next update but at the same time it might if it is finished in time and then also we have a roof picture of the fictional cadillac that is coming to the game and an interesting thing is that it does actually have two sunroofs which is pretty cool and i'll definitely be getting this thing when it comes out now moving on to actual possible release dates it could honestly come out any time from now to be honest now since it has already been over two months since the last update that we got greenville usually doesn't take longer than that to release another update and the chances of it releasing sometime this week or early next week are much higher than it releasing in the next two weeks especially considering that so much news has already came out regarding it showcasing that it is almost finished and also all the other evidence like testers testing out the game which are things that don't typically happen if the update isn't close to being released so overall does seem pretty obvious to me that it will be releasing very very soon and honestly i'm super hyped because this update looks huge compared to the other updates that we've gotten in the past obviously that is kind of expected considering how long we have waited but let me know what you guys think about it in the comments below anyways though thank you guys so much for watching this video hopefully you guys did enjoy it if you did make sure you like and subscribe once again we are on the road to 15.2k subscribers so it would be greatly appreciated let me know if you guys are hyped for this update and yeah anyways i'll see you guys in the next one Oh, <laughs>